When I work with metal, I like to transform it into something that's lightweight looking. And that's really one of the great characteristics about working with metal is that it's such a strong material. You can make light and airy shapes that are strong and structural. A lot of times it is really just focused. It's focused energy. It, it's kind of like, you know, when you ask a musician what's going through their head when they're soloing. Paying attention to the curves, the way that the metal's forming, it's, it's kind of hard to explain how it, what's actually going through my head when I'm creating something. It's, it's almost indescribable. My name is Dan Crabtree, and I'm a blacksmith. A blacksmith works with iron. Uh, metalsmiths work with all varieties of materials. I guess I'm a little bit of both. My name is Scott DeLorme, and I'm a metalsmith slash fa fabricator slash welder. <laughs> I work with Daniel and help him out on a lot of the bigger projects. We grew up together. We've known each other since the fifth grade. I got into blacksmithing because I wanted to do swords and armor and medieval things. Uh, and then as I grew into it, I really found a love for the art form. I like to take a piece of flat material and form it and transform it into something that's three-dimensional and interesting. I've always loved changing things. I love to work with different materials, and I guess that's when I realized I was being an artist. I didn't, it didn't, I never really wanted to be an artist. It just kind of happened. You'll see how these are straight, and these look like as if they're trying to capture light. They're bending around the blossom, and that's what we want to do. We want to make it look like these leaves are actually reaching for sunlight and growing, and that makes it look even more real. It adds a little bit more time, but man, is it a good detail. When most people see our roses, they think, uh, they think they're real at first. A lot of people think that we dip our roses in metal, that we take a live rose and dip it or something like that. That's not the case. When we make our roses, we start with flat bars and sheets, and we have to hammer and forge every detail into them. First thing we do, and we cut out the petals, and then we sand them down. Then I've made special dyes and fixtures to put the texture in the roses, to give the petals a more lifelike look. After texturing the petals, I layer them. While they're layered, we use a TIG welder to combine all the pieces into one solid mass. Because steel doesn't transfer energy the same as other metals. If this was copper, you probably couldn't grab it out here. But since it's steel, you can hold on to it. And a piece of round bar is heated up in the forge. We hammer out the round bar to give it texture to make it look more realistic like a real rose. The forge heats the metal until, so it can be formed. Then using a pair of pliers, I'll take the heated steel blank and form it and try to create a realistic looking lo rose blossom. Once the rose blossom has been formed, I then take it and clean it up and wire wheel it and add the leaves. The leaves are another process themselves. The leaves are cut out of a plate of heavy metal, uh, about an eighth of an inch thick. Then the, the leaves are heated with a torch and using an old trip hammer over 100 years old, we forge in the design for the leaf. I really do enjoy metal because it's, 
sturdy yet malleable. Uh, it's forgiving yet really stubborn. But once you get it right, then you have this frozen piece of artwork that is very delicate looking, but very strong. Square stuff, that's easy. And tape measuring, that's, that's fine with me. But it's all these curvy shapes and wild angles and decisions that you have to make on things that don't have a clear right or wrong answer. That's like where the real artistry is. My favorite part of the job is that I get to work with one of my best friends, honestly. <laughs> you know, we might have disagreements, but we get over it. And I think that's what makes a good relationship in general. <laughs> yeah, January 2017? Yeah, I believe so. The best part of being a blacksmith is it's something that I've always wanted to do ever since I was probably 14. And to have that dream become a reality where I can wake up in the morning, come to my own shop, and just create art, that's probably the best part of my job.